What's up, my name is Samuel McCoy Johnson. I'm doing a dramatic monologue called Blessings. Bro, well, people say it all the time. It's behind my back. Or in the corner of the room so they think I don't hear. My wife is dead. So my heart is broken. But my ears, <laughs> my ears work fine. So I hear people say it. There's not just one person. It's a lot of people. My friends, co-workers, even family members. I must, must console them to be able to say it to each other. To try to find something good about her death. Oh, thank God. At least they didn't have children. But you know she had me. She left me behind. But maybe, maybe if I had children, I could share some of this crippling pain with them. Maybe spreading pain out between other people can make it more bearable. But that's bad to say, I guess. Maybe I could understand this self-sacrificing concept better if I were a father. But I'm not. I don't think it's a blessing that our non-existent children was spared the pain of losing their mother when she died. I don't think it's a blessing that I'm relieved the hard work of raising kids by myself. <laughs> I don't think it's a blessing that I don't have kids who might haunt me by looking or sounding or having little mannerisms like her so that small piece of her still be alive. Why do people think it's a blessing to be more alone when the love of your life dies.